Bison football team is fresh off a victory over a San Diego team they had never faced before. This week, NDSU will go up against the team they know all too well. Snap back, pressure brought, fade pattern in the end zone, caught, touchdown, Winnikey. South Dakota State broke an eight game losing streak taking the Dakota marker back to Brookings in a 19-17 win on October 15th, a feeling the Bison still have fresh in their mind. Uh, we're ready to go. I'm fired up. They've been, they've been kind of chirping at the coaching staff, chirping at us. So this, this is a game, there's no love in this game. There's all hate, so they we're ready to go. In his previous five games before facing NDSU, Taron Christian had a total of 29 rushing yards on the ground. But the Jackrabbit quarterback put up 141 rushing yards on the Bison defense. We'll be ready. Uh, on defense, we'll make sure that we're more sound uh, in the quarterback run. I know it's sometimes hard because there's an extra guy you can't account for, and we weren't really accounting for that in the first game, but now we, we know what he's capable of and we won't let him beat us that way. Christian also passed for 303 yards with two touchdowns. 258 of those yards came from the dynamic duo of wide receiver Jake Winnicky and tight end Dallas Goddard. Jake Winnicky is a great receiver, still have Goddard. He's a great tight end all-conference, um, should be all-American. I mean, they have a lot of weapons on offense that we need to defend, so nothing's really changed for them. We just need to, we need to plan better and be better prepared. Last week, the Bison rushing attack was one yard short of reaching the 300-yard mark. They will need to stay hot in order to win the much needed time of possession battle. We have to be able to stay on the field offensively and we have to get off the field on defense and it's probably as simple as that. Last year in the quarterfinals, it took a kick return from Bruce Anderson to knock off a Missouri Valley opponent. And the Bison know they may need some more special teams magic to knock off another Valley foe. We're just seeing what we can get after them and what can exploit their, uh, their weaknesses and we just Take it, uh, take it full head of steam. The Jackrabbits will look to become the first team since 1994 to defeat the Bison twice in a season, while North Dakota State will look to advance to the semifinals for the sixth consecutive year. Kickoff is scheduled for 11 a.m. Central Time and can be seen on ESPN. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Rory.